Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Welcome to Think Tech. I'm Crystal Kuo, long time no see for you Think Tech fans out there. Um, today I'm here on behalf of the Outreach College at UH Manoa because I would love to share with you a very exciting and interesting cultural performance that's coming up at UH Manoa at the Kennedy Theater. I've got a very international set of guests today and I'm going to introduce them now to you. Um, basically, this is going to be the performance of the Ramayana, a Balinese traditional dance and theater, dance and music production. So on my first side, we have I Made Moja from Batuan, which is a traditional arts village in Bali, correct? That's right, yeah. Yes. So Made is a professional Balinese dancer and painter, also based in San Francisco. How long have you been in San Francisco for? It's over 18 years. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while. So you're mm -hmm. local. Pretty much local, yeah. <laughs> okay. Look forward to hearing your tips about San Francisco and Balinese culture. And next to Made is I'm going to say, Doctor, she hates me saying that she earned her PhD recently. Congratulations Thank to you. Dr. Annie Reynolds, who is a the assistant artistic director at the Gamalan Sagara Madu, uh, which you're going to explain to us what that is in a bit, and also the um, assistant program uh, director at the East West Center. Is that uh, right? At the East West Center Arts Program. Arts assistant. Program. Okay, and you're a char in charge of this big production coming up yes. next week. Uh, and you're also you've been to Bali numerous times. You speak fluent. Mm -hmm. Indonesian. Indonesian and Balinese. Yeah. Bal yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, so you can show off your language talents too in a little bit. <laughs> Last but not least, we have I Putu Gede Setiawan. Yes. Uh, all the way from Japan. From Japan, but absolutely I'm from Bali. I was there for more than 10 years. Okay, yeah. and you speak fluent Japanese too? Of course, of course. <laughs> wow, this is a really impressive yeah. international panel. And Butu is also a professional musician and gamelan teacher from yeah. Bali, uh, who is the artistic director at the Otonomori yeah. Gamelan Studio. Yep. And that's in Tokyo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so what is your common thread today? Mm -hmm. The strongest common thread the three of you are here for today? Okay. Ooh, who wants to answer There that? are many, right? There are so many threads. Yes. <laughs> Pat Moja. Okay. So, Pat Moja for the sound of music. Mm -hmm. This will bring me, mm -hmm. we get together, so, you mm -hmm. know, like with the music, especially Balinese music, so bring me, bring us together, mm -hmm. create. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, story, dance as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And mm -hmm. what's really neat is we're bringing, through this project, we're bringing two groups together. So. What's really um, wonderful about ga the Otonomori and Gamelan Sagara Maju is... Can you translate and tell me what the meaning yes. of those are so first? so Otonomori yeah. Gamelan from Tokyo is yes. the sound of the forest. Sound of the forest, yes. It. And then our UH-based um, Balinese Gamelan Ensemble, ensemble uh, Gamelan Sagara Maju, means the ocean of honey. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> so we are bringing the ocean and the forest together with yeah. this project. So I think our common thread, which we're finding, which is so neat, is that Putu teaches, he's from Bali, he's a Balinese artist, and he teaches in Tokyo, he's based in Tokyo as well, our artistic director here in Honolulu, also from Bali, but based locally. And so each group has these very strong ties to Bali as well. So yeah. as the artists are coming, so we have these, uh, the artists who are Japanese who are coming from Otonomori, from Tokyo, coming to work with our local artists. Uh, we have so many threads of common artists that we've all worked with as well back in Bali and then coming here to hopefully um, present this production together. Is this the first time a collaboration of this international scale has come together for a performance here? This is under the Asia Pacific mm -hmm. Dance Festival, yes? And so we have San Francisco, yeah. Japan, mm -hmm. Hawaii, mm -hmm. Indonesia, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Bali. Yeah. It's really quite yeah, diverse. This is uh, absolutely amazing because uh, this is this crazy uh, project. This is from me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just make a joke how to that is uh, show the Balinese uh, uh, performance, but the members will be not Balinese. This is mm -hmm. from Japan and mm -hmm. from Hawaii, but doing the Balinese. Mm -hmm. Arts. How do these Japanese people get involved and become yeah, so interested uh, in this? Yeah, but uh, some of the Balinese, uh, but my student is so interesting about the Bali. Then, uh, absolutely, for this project, it's Ramayana, it's very difficult because uh, we, we have to 
uh, talk about the dance, talk about the music, talk about the how to it's called dalam. What's it mean? Uh, the narrator. Yes, so. the narrator, and then how to mix it in one. It's mm -hmm. very difficult, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. my student can do it with uh, well. Then I was perform in Bali first, then at Yokohama and okay. Tokyo. Then. This, this time, I have to make a collaboration with Hawaiian Sagaramadu, then I, I have to make more, 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 more success. Mm -hmm. This is my dream. Well, I think you're reaching it because <laughs> this is a really great startup. Um, yeah. Let's back up a little bit and talk sure. about the yeah. origins of the story of the Ramayana. So we, the title is Ramayana, the abduction of Sita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would you like to share where the origins from and what is the Balinese interpretation of it mm -hmm. in a nutshell? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a Hindu epic story. This is Ramayana. This original is came from India. India. So in Bali, we have some certain different version, as is India version. But the story pretty much is pretty much the same story from mm. the end to the end. I so mean, from, from beginning to the end, pretty much the same. Just mm -hmm. the way they uh, show as an art performance, this is, of course, it's a bit different because the music and culture. Yeah. yeah. But Bali, Balinese, uh, the Balinese version has been um, taken on for a long time. Like yes, since yeah. yeah. Yes, in the Balinese, Balinese is like one of the uh, most like Hindus uh, uh, religions right yeah. now, mm -hmm. and so also the Hindus come from uh, India, okay. and also the culture kind of carry on mm -hmm. with. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, with uh, the religion as well. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. so for us culturally starved people out here in Honolulu, mm -hmm. what is the story of Ramayana? The story of Ramayana is about, oh my goodness, it's it's a, it's a really um, wonderful epic tale uh, about mm -hmm. Prince Rama and Princess Sita. Uh, there's Rama, he's going to the forest with Lakshmana and with Sita, and then Ravana is the evil king. So we are upholding uh, Rama as a very High moral, wonderful prince, and then kind of in in opposition to the evil Ravana, who's trying to take Sita, and that's yes. the basic story. And and we see how Ravana is kind of corrupt and a mm. manipulator, yeah. and kind of through that kind of manipulation, and along the way, they're meeting all these different heroes that are trying to kind of uh, to kind of help her um, so that she's not so it's just Jatayu, the Garuda bird, mm -hmm. who's very heroic. Um, so we get these wonderful kind of character dances. Hanuman, the white monkey king, is mm -hmm. very athletic in his movements, yeah. and and then he'll be accompanied by our local little cakey dancers. I think we have photos between, of between <laughs> four to seven monkeys, years right? old. The, they live here. They're local kids here in oh, Hawaii. Cute. So. Uh, so he'll, you know, so every every different character, we have the whole gamut of the different character types, from the refined to the masked. Yeah, very, very yeah. yeah, and the masks mm. were made by Pat Moja. Pat Moja yeah. Yeah. Wow. So we got to try them on. It's starting to come to <laughs> yeah, life. Yeah, they're so for excited these kids. when they yeah. try that mask. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Pat Moja is also very talented as a, <laughs> an artist, too. We have a sketch of a painting. In fact, I think you just described one of the scenes. If we could see the sketch, uh, isn't mm -hmm. that where he abducts her? Or what is yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Munkin Putubis of Menjelaskan, senior. This is uh, when the Sita is was uh, adopted by Rahwana. Mm -hmm. So it, absolutely, before he takes the Sita, he changed his, himself to uh, like a what, what's old, man. old man. Yeah. Oh, old man. Old man. Yeah, it's this old man. He. Old is, man is usually defined as a man. Who <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he changed I didn't himself. say Alexa, did I? Did he? Did she hear, he heard Alexa? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so he changed himself to old man who is uh, need the water to uh, to pray. Mm -hmm. He will going to pray, uh -huh. but he, he he's a liar. He's a liar. He's and then says, oh, change. Oh, please give me water. Please give me water. Then because, uh, do you know? Uh, absolutely. Uh, before he take the sita, sita is his words. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, the, the she protected by, protected um, by, yeah, by, yeah. by circle, like a medical circle, circle. Yeah. 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 From, yeah. From no one can Lakshmana. enter no right. one can get yeah. Yeah. Sita. that's why he make a like a trick, trick yeah. to oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. so he's trying he change to himself to out. old man who said well, give me water please yeah. give me water right. then 
sits her heart says, okay, I will give you water. Mm -hmm. Then some water, then give the, the old man, when he give the water to old man that cuts the hand of the sita oh, and then it's okay. yeah. But don't give away the whole story because we want to see it a lot. It's very interesting. But it is a method, yes. yeah? So, yeah. Yeah. But I wanted to bring back the attention that Mari drew that intricately gorgeous painting mm -hmm. that is going to be mm -hmm. auctioned off at our culinary celebration. Mm -hmm. um, but you also are from an arts village in Bali. Mm -hmm. Did you want to talk a little bit about that and how that's influenced you as a person, as a creative person? And how well, that ties just in? Just a quick background. It's uh, around 1978, my father came here. Uh, to Hawaii? Some, yeah, to oh, Hawaii, was, uh, doing some exhibition. And um, so I just trying to dream, like, how mm -hmm. Hawaii mm -hmm. looked like. <laughs> 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 and then still, like, she dream in the innocent there. So, so I've been invited to come here for performance. This is, oh, cool. wow. yeah. this is the fourth. This is the fourth collaboration. And we're looking here. forward yeah. to more. <laughs> yeah, we have more, you know, more, uh, more coming up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is the? Um, yeah. Would you say there's a commonality in the Hawaiian culture with Balinese culture? Um, I think it's uh, about uh, nature, uh, mm -hmm. how to protect the nature, mm -hmm. how to believe with the nature, in. Uh, in in Bali, we have like three heat kalana, like three things that you have to uh, uh, keep a balance, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so that's that is the similarity between the way I see it, uh -huh. you know, by my eyes, you know, just how mm -hmm. uh, people in preserve. The, 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 the culture. The culture. Do you think this story is relevant to today? I mean, if this is an mm -hmm. epic story of, mm -hmm. you know, of mm -hmm. a huge background, mm -hmm. culturally speaking. And mm -hmm. I just want to ask you how you feel about the woman's position. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry, I've just been at you for oh, yeah, yeah, too yeah. long, and yeah. I have to. <laughs> like, do you feel like the abduction of a female mm -hmm. is that something that we should talk about today, or do women need saving today, or what? Do, uh. What do you take away from this? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, I would say she actually comes across as a very strong character. Okay. Because she's the one kind of she's the one kind of making things happen. You know, she's telling Rama where to go, she's telling yes, Lakshmana yes, yes. where mm. to go. Yeah. So it's the objection of her in that one scene, but in the end, you know, when I, I don't want to give away too much no, of the story, no. but, <laughs> but Hanuman comes to her and she's not she's not gonna just let anybody come in. She wants to know who you are and she wants proof that you're coming. On, on Rama's behalf. So in the end, we see her as a very strong character, mm -hmm. even though it's talking about her abduction. And she's saved, but she's saved because of her own kind of will as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think also how it is, uh, the Rama epic also shows uh, how the Rama's love to, to his mm -hmm. wife. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's very, he's so lovely, yeah. uh, his wife Absolutely. so much. sacrifice yeah. mm -hmm. in, uh, mm -hmm. in this story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's definitely mm. relevant to today. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Sacrifice. Yeah. And, and women who seem to appear to be uh, victims, mm -hmm. but how you can come across certain situations that's on your right. own strength. So that's, right. that's a little something for us to chew on for a mm -hmm. quick break. But we'll be back, and we're going to continue talking about the performance of the Ramayana coming up here at UH Manoa uh, on this, this weekend. So stay tuned, and we'll talk and learn more about their culture and the performance. Hi, I'm Ethan Allen, your host on Pacific Partnerships in Education here on Think Tech Hawaii. Every other week, Tuesdays at 3 p.m., we have guests on and talk about the fascinating, interesting, and unique partnerships in education that occur across the Pacific Islands with Hawaii, Micronesia, the Marshall Islands, Palau, Guam. All these places have really rich local education programs going on. And the exchange among and between these programs is a wealth of great information, helping the islands all learn uh, how to survive and thrive in our ever-changing world. I hope you'll join us on Pacific Partnerships in Education. I'm Jay Fidel, ThinkTech. ThinkTech loves energy. I'm the host of Mina, Marco, and Me, which is Mina Morita, former chair of the PUC, former legislator, and uh, Energy Dynamics, a consulting organization in energy. Marco Mangelsdorf is the CEO of ProVision Solar in Hilo. Every two weeks, we talk about energy, everything about energy. Come around and watch us. We're on at noon on Mondays, every two weeks on ThinkTech. Aloha. Mm -hmm.
Welcome back to Think Tech. I'm Crystal Kwok here on behalf of Outreach College, UH Manoa, interviewing three wonderful guests, international, uh, about the performance of the Ramayana, the abduction of Sita. We have, living in San Francisco right now, is Made, who's a painter and performer. We have Annie, who just got her doctorate, I'm going <laughs> to say, in Asian theater, wonderful, who is also in charge of this whole performance uh, with the East West Center, it's arts. Arts program. Arts program. Mm -hmm. And we have Putu yep. from Japan, yeah. uh, part of the Gaumon Musician. I love it. I love that we're so international here in Hawaii doing this amazing cultural performance. Um, so let's talk about this. You just came together a few yeah. days ago, and you have this yes. intense rehearsal schedule <laughs> yes. to put together. Now, how many people in this ensemble? In total, artists on stage will have over 50. What? Nearing 60 <laughs> artists. We just, I, I thought it was 30, and then I recounted uh, and realized yeah. how many of us there are. So. And collaborations from different countries, of different course. languages, yeah. different yeah. ages, right. yes. Yes. Right. different yeah. performance art based. complicated. You, yes, <laughs> different <laughs> levels of performers, different levels of professionalism. Yeah. It's really, it's really. So share some stories or have, mm -hmm. what, what about this process in this in short time of this mm -hmm. rehearsal? Sure. Um, we have some photos of your rehearsal. Rehearsals. Okay. Is there anything okay. that you'd like to share during this process? Of course. Monk and Puttu do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Is this uh, the children, the deers? Oh, the so <laughs> very <laughs> cute. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think we will have the the. The cute deer, three <laughs> percent. Do I just have to leap yes. across the stage? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Leaves. Sleeps. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, so they are so on, and also this yeah. uh, one is from my student, this is from Japan, oh. and another poor person is from Hawaii. Yeah. They are wow. so amazing, yeah. good teamwork. So, in the center, that, oh, if oh, we go back to the last picture, that was Sita at the center. Yes, oh, we were just so talking about Sita. So that's Princess yeah. Sita. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on the behind, uh -huh. so be, there, there is any lots of uh, instrument. This mm -hmm. is a Bali instrument. Mm -hmm. It's so more than twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. yeah. It is any kind of instrument. So we can. So we have to make it one one performance. So it's very difficult, absolutely, because uh, no text. All the all the uh, music. Yeah. we have to. Mind in m our minds, then we play. Why it's no is there text. no text? No, we because a Balinese a traditional music is without text. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without text. Almost that's a now it should be around one and a half. Mm -hmm. All is our mind. Then we have yeah. to play. It's so, so difficult. So everything <laughs> everything is taught by ear. So yeah. our. So they learned the music, and mm. their ensemble before, when they did other productions of it, they had their musicians and dancers working together in okay. Japan, and they'd work with Balinese mm. artists and learned. Yeah. But it's all taught through repetition mm. and patience yes. of the teachers. But you've been rehearsing and your portion in mm -hmm. Japan. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then you've and been we've been learning <laughs> from our teacher Imade Made yeah. Widana yeah. mm -hmm. has been teaching. We've been learning this music for about eight months now. Yeah. Scene by scene. Mm -hmm. And so we haven't had the luxury of having the dancers to watch for our cues. Yes. So he has our teacher. You has can't have like a camera there with live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Something like this. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. way. It doesn't work this way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, so it's like, like, we're in the so technology we're, age. So we're, yeah, yeah, so we're imagining the scene. So Made mm. is sitting in rehearsal saying, yes. okay, this is the scene mm. where they're in the forest, and this is Sita. We have one more drama. photo that we actually skipped past, but sure. I wanted mm -hmm. to see whether that was another. So that's Made Widana, yeah. okay. the teacher here. So you yes. actually see him dancing here with the with the kids. He's the Hanuman character here. Ah. He's actually going to be one of the lead musicians in the ensemble, but it, as is traditional in Bali, musicians dance and dancers play music. Yep. So he's sitting here until we get, uh, he's playing this role until we get our Hanuman dancer who comes from Japan today. Mm. Um, so that the Thanks, kids know how to, yeah, yeah, so that <laughs> the kids know how to follow their cues. Wow, that's um, fascinating. What is, so you want to talk a little bit about the gamelan? We haven't talked about that. That's the music. Okay. How do you know people who don't know Balinese music? Yeah, absolutely. Balinese music is uh, Balinese traditional music is uh, as uh, I said before. This uh, to learn the Balinese music, of course, no text. This is oral mm -hmm. tradition. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we got to teach from our teacher and then learn and copy and then. We have to remember, then play. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever of uh, music, what, whatever of uh, a uh, title, how long the title, all shall be remind. How many different instruments are there? 
uh, for the instrument, Balinese instruments will be more than six character inside. Okay. Yeah, and then the skill also, the different style. Mm -hmm. Are there any gender roles to which skills are suitable for which instruments? Like, you know, in Japan, mm -hmm. you know, the taiko, like, yeah. are there? Yeah, so, uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, uh, first, so uh, like so percussion is, is, is main, but uh, uh. for the drums, so we'll be using both of our hand. Yeah. I mostly use uh, some uh, um, um, Pongo, yeah, the mallet. A mallet too. Right. And then the, and the other one is uh, like this. But we touch from uh, right hand, but another left hand should be touch and the, the, the key. Because it, because all, all of the, the instrument is made by cell phone. Uh, oh. It's uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so noise. Yeah. So we have to, on the same time, touch the, yeah. the key. So you're playing, and as you're playing the next tone, you're damping the last damping, tone, yes. so that it's not all ringing, because yes. they're made of they're bronze, bronze keys skin, yeah. with, um, with bamboo resonators. So, noise. so if you just play across, it'll just they'll all can, ring. Yeah. Wow. OK, so you need to be very <laughs> multitasking. Yeah. You have to be really What is, about yeah. the dancing? How yeah. do you interpret with that music? How, does, how do you feed off the music, or do you have your own technique that Follows its own. Sometimes in, in in this case and this is the Ramayana, so we kind of like try to put uh, marry the music and the dancer. Sometimes mm -hmm. the dancer lead the music yes. to get cue. Mm -hmm. When are getting higher and I mean higher, I mean louder. When yeah. uh, softer. Mm -hmm. Is that so, what they're mm -hmm. doing? Yeah. yeah. And um, so in this case, kind of like we try to uh, put it together when the music is gonna. Uh, gonna be louder, so the the dancer had some anticipation. Yes. Well, the music can be louder, mm -hmm. and then so and then the dancer now to get kind of cue to music louder. Yes. The dancer gives the cue for the yes. music to be louder. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in this case, I have to know. You know oh, this gonna be loud, and then mm -hmm. I kind of like give a cue. So between the dancer and the music, kind of like building up yeah. at the same yeah. time. That's what are why, some, mm, yeah, okay. sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's why the, so be, the dancer also be knowing about the music. Mm -hmm. The music musician also knowing about the dance. Mm -hmm. If they if know nothing, can mix this together, can uh, marry this together. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's very interesting, it's this one. Mm -hmm. So all, everyone should be knowing about the, mm -hmm. uh, the other So practice. you have to learn both things, really, yeah, to yeah. understand to true yeah, Balinese music and dance. Yeah. Uh, is there a certain type of training you need that's required for this? Like, Yeah, I'm a musician. Sometimes I have to practice once how to, to get a cue, how to give a cue. So when, because uh, I learned that, then I know the dancer will be give us cue, mm -hmm. give me a cue. Mm -hmm. That's the, the timing. The, the right. point is timing. Okay. Mm -hmm. When he will give the cue. Mm -hmm. the, so what in, is the most difficult thing yes. in this collaboration? What do you mm -hmm. think it is? The collaborative, mm, the merit all of the mm -hmm. merit of mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. uh, dance, mm -hmm. and narrator. Mm -hmm. The narrator, right. yeah. yeah. Timing. Timing. <laughs> so the narrator feeds off of again the intensity of the yeah. movement at the time. So she has to adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. Or is it the other way around, where the dancers listen to the narration and have to follow all, the all in the same time? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, so I have to yeah. know what the narrator is going to say. Even though it's not the whole thing, we just kind of like, okay, he's, I think he's going to say mm -hmm. this. Yes. And then we just say, okay, I'm going to do something like this. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yes. I think <laughs> above the, the narrator. You know, it's, it's such a... You know, the tradition of mm. some like a piece like this, people aren't really, if people don't know cultural dance, mm -hmm. they don't really know how to mm -hmm. read mm -hmm. a performance like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a painting put it alive on stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do right. you want to elaborate on that? It's something It's something very artistic. Uh, Sometimes you think that it's all improvised, but mm -hmm. of course not. When you see the all the form, you know, just from beginning to the end, the music and the dance, can uh, you have some idea about improvise? Because you know exactly what's going to happen. So this more feel comfortable with mm -hmm. that. You know, mm -hmm. the music is going to change here. The narrator is gonna say this. Mm -hmm. Now you have to feel more comfortable to 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 acting. Acting means like to dance. So mm -hmm. when you say acting, I mean they have strong characters. They're written mm -hmm. in. Yeah. But how do they embody that in such traditional movement? Uh, the the traditional movement is based on the Balinese dance uh, uh, movement, mm -hmm. not just acting, just like. 
what so certain, certain gestures movement, represent gesture, yeah pre uh, all yeah. the gestures is mm -hmm. like a more like traditional way how to gesture something yeah. how to move something and the different body postures mm -hmm. as well so if you have a refined female character you have a body mm -hmm. posture that goes with that and it's kind of from we kind of say from the inside out yeah. so what is the internal character and how do we express that through mm -hmm. the external movements and gesture so that would be on one end, whereas the unrefined, the coarse, uh, would have different uh, external kind of, you know, hand mm -hmm. movements and gestures and body. Uh, There's a lot of that going on with Balinese. What does mm -hmm. that mean? What does, can you? Do you have a brief, <laughs> so people who come mm -hmm. to see this performance, mm -hmm. yeah, I understand yes, yes, yes. some of the language of it. But the thing I know about the Balinese then is it's a little bit moving from head to toe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's eyes nice. and a head, you know and the fingers, mm. it's movement, it's kind of artistically, sometimes more flicking like this, more like just gesture, mm. depend the character. The character. Mm -hmm. How do you train the eyes to do the mm. thing they oh. do? <laughs> so, uh, I think this is, uh, I learned from many teachers, you know, like you can learn just from the music cue and mm -hmm. then like that tongue, kind of like that, that. And also you can learn with, um, Put your hand one in mm -hmm. in front, Orange. one inside. You know. Wait, show us like one quick, so okay. we can all just. Oh, yeah, okay. Here, for thing. example, and they call it like that with eye movement. First, you focus in the front, and yeah. then like look at the side. Uh -huh. that, huh. mm. <laughs> and then, so when you dance, you you're not gonna do this, but you pretty much, you know, just to practice this how you move like yeah. this. You know, like you just have yeah, to practice that. Practice for a long that time. way, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then to keep your hands high here yes. instead this way, you just kind of let the form. Mm -hmm. What is the Balinese form? Does your mm -hmm. eye get tired from that rehearsal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, yeah. it's, I think sometime after rehearsal, you, yeah. uh, uh, your eye feel trash because yeah. I exercise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow, you no, can but there's. And, yeah. because they're open so yeah. like and the teachers, the teachers really form the students yes. as well. Like with their hands, okay. they form mm -hmm. the, the students. Yeah. There is so much that that we could pick apart in mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, art form absolutely. because it goes so far back. Um, I, I wish we had the time to do that, <laughs> but unfortunately we don't. Mm -hmm. So we encourage mm -hmm. people to go and actually see this performance. Do you want to share a little information on uh, the upcoming performance? I think we have a flyer out there. Um, it is on June 2nd and 3rd yeah. this mm -hmm. weekend. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, go uh, ahead. At Kennedy Theater, mm -hmm. so the Ramayana, uh, the abduction of mm -hmm. Sita. Uh, that's the character of Rama there on the front. And you can see here our website and the phone number to call to get tickets. Um, they're going fast, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so I would suggest getting your tickets as quickly as you can so that you can get, um, get, get good seats for this. Um, we're so thrilled to have over 50 artists working together on the stage. Amazing. It's just an amazing mm -hmm. collaboration. And we're yep. so thankful to Asia Pacific Dance Festival for making this happen. And it's going to be a really special performance here yeah. in Hawaii mm -hmm. um, for us and for yes, for the yes. audience that comes yeah. gets to come and see this wow. special performance so uh, thank you for mm -hmm. all three of you for your time here and your wonderful presence in Hawaii mm -hmm. bringing your culture here and this amazing collaboration and hope you support the arts uh, by going to see the show and uh, stay tuned for more think tech and thank you so much for joining us today thank you Thanks. thank you <laughs>